Thank you for clicking into this video and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be showing you guys my routine for a dewy Korean glass skin look that I've been loving to wear especially during these cold and dry winter days. I know a lot of people define the Korean glass skin trend as being super dewy and slick, so moisturized it feels like liquid is falling down your face, um, but I prefer a more natural and toned down style so I'm gonna go for a hydrated, clear and smooth look with some dewiness and glow without looking overly oily. In order to get this look, you do need to layer a couple different products, so let's get started right away. For this look, it is really important to start with a clean base, so we'll start with cleansing the face with the Clinique Liquid Facial Soap. I find using a gentle gel cleanser is good in the morning as it is more mild and less dripping, all the while really cleaning any residue formed from skincare products from the previous night and ensuring that the face is ready to layer new and fresh products. After the face is clean and ready to go, it is important to sufficiently hydrate the skin. We're going to start by using a hydrating toner. I'm going to drench these big cotton pads with the Tear Tear Rosemary Essence and place them on my skin as a face mask. I really love these Tear Tear cotton pads as they're probably the best I've ever used. They are firm and absorb essence so well while staying nicely on your face to create a soft and calming face mask. I find this toner is very soothing and the rosemary provides antioxidants to keep your skin healthy and hydrated. I leave the face mask on for 10 to 20 minutes and when I remove it, my face feels so much more calm and refreshed. When I don't have time to do this, I usually just strip some of the essence onto my hands and slowly pat it into my face to let it seep in. Next, I want to moisturize my skin and create an even and smooth base with this Clearance Pore Control Serum. I do think this serum is good for evening out my huge pores every time I use it, but I don't think it necessarily helps prevent enlargement on my pores and it is quite expensive. So I'm looking for something that is either more effective or more affordable. If anyone has any recommendations, please let me know in the comments below. But I think in order to achieve glass skin, it is important for your skin to look even out and flawless. So I'm using it here. Now before I go on to coverage, I'm going to add some glow underneath by using this Cosrx Propolis Light Ampoule. This is a great ampoule that feels like a light and non-sticky layer of honey that leaves your skin with a dewy glow. I like that even though the formula overall is not considered very sticky, it does have a bit of a balance of tackiness that helps the products you use after it adhere better and sink into the skin nicely. It is also great especially during these cold and dry winter days because it creates a barrier layer to lock in all the moisture underneath. Now I'm going to use a sunscreen I've talked about before in a previous video and that I really like, the Dalabin Innocent Sun Cream. This is a great SPF base and I find that it also helps brighten the skin and honestly on my lazy days when I don't care too much for coverage, I would just use this and skip foundation entirely as I really like the color it leaves on my skin after I use it. But for today, I do want to go for a full coverage look, so I will continue on with my favorite Christian foundation, the Pony Effect Everlasting Christian. I find Christians are best for when you want a dewy look because the formulas are almost always very radiant and moisturizing, and I like using an air puff to really help pat the foundation into the skin to help it absorb and mix with the layers of moisture we've created underneath. And that is almost all for the base of the look, but I will add a bit of highlight to add some glow on the skin. But first, I will just do a light shaping of my brows with this eyebrow pencil. Overall, I think because we're going to put the emphasis and focus onto the skin for this look, I'm going to leave the rest of the makeup very light, and so I'm also going especially light-handed for my brows. Highlighters, I'm going to go for a powder highlighter with the Cover FX Perfect Light Highlighting Palette in the color Moonlight. I want the glow to look as natural as possible, so you want to avoid using anything with too much glitter and shimmers. So I find using a cream or powder highlighter the most natural. I'm only going to be adding a bit to the areas where I want the light to catch a bit more, which is mainly the brow bone, the cheeks, my nose, and just underneath my lips. 
For the cheeks, you want to just stroke it from the center right to where your cheekbones end to prevent making your face look wider. I'm avoiding adding any highlight to my forehead area as I find that it is the highest area on your face so it already catches the most light and adding any glow there would just make your face look overly oily or greasy. For me, in real life, usually I just keep it very simple and just do an eyeliner after this, but I'm currently testing out a DIY eyelash extension system that I'll be putting out a review video on soon, so I tried it on here. Anyone who's interested and curious in seeing the review, please subscribe and turn on notifications so you can be notified when the video comes out soon. For the final step with the lips, I want to finish off with something glossy to go with the look, so I have the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in Fussy. However, I do like to use it alongside a color base so that the gloss doesn't come off as greasy, so I will first be using the Vanilla Calypsic in Cherry Chew. I think it gives the lips a good My Lips Flip Better color base for the gloss to go on top of. When all of that is done, we're going to mist the glowy look and set the makeup with the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. And that's all! Thank you guys so much for joining me today in this video. I thank you to YesStyle for sending me a few of the products that were featured in the video to test out. This video is not sponsored, but for those who are interested in the products, I'll link them in the description below. If you liked the video, please give the video a thumbs up, and I would love it if you join me for my weekly videos by subscribing. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!